So we didn't don't have any passengers and no destination, but at least the plane is colorful, right? Hey everyone, there's a tech host, and as promised, I'll bring you another roll and write game of the Planes, Trains, and Argyle Roll and Write Revolution Collection, currently being funded on Kickstarter. The first game I brought you was Argyle, and today I will play through Rainbow Airlines. All right, before we start, let's put in our name here. That is Sir Thakos, as we know, date, well, 2021 and December, but I don't know when I will publish this video, but I would like to publish it on, let's say, the 22nd. Let's hope that I can manage that. All right, so let me quickly guide you through the game and then we can get started right away. So um, as you can see here, at least in a minute, we have several different colored dice in here, six, um, and also the pens here that fit these dice. And we will always pull two dice and then choose one of them um, or two. Um, we can either take one of these dice to color in a specific part of the plane um, so we have cockpit, left wing, cabin, right wing, engines and tail, and the number would denote which part it is and the color which um, uh, which color we use to color that in. Our goal is to color in the plane completely because then we can clear it for takeoff and score it at the end of the game. Um, and we get more points if the colors are different. We don't want same colors there, hence why it's called Rainbow Airlines. Um, we can also use one die to fill in a number of passenger by using the exact die value. Um, we can also use one or two dice to fill in the destination. It's a little bit small, but you should be able to see here that that either it, um, like if we have a preferred destination that gives us three points here. So if we fill in a one or 12 here, for example, with a two or a 10, we would get only one point. That's the secondary destination. And that's pretty much it. We do that over five rounds. Whenever we pull the last two dice from the back, one round is over. And after five rounds, or after all three planes has, have been completed, um, we score we score the planes. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. So let's get started right away. Let's pull two dice, roll them. That's a six and a two. So why don't we start off with Let's start off with the red, why don't we? So we will use the red die. I will put the other one up here. I will show you in a minute why. And then the two is the left wing and red. So we fill in the, we color in the left wing with a red color. All right, and the other die we didn't use is put aside because we need to put the die we use back in the back and then we pull two more dice, roll them. We have two sixes here. Well, with a 12, we would have a good destination, right? That's three points, that's quite a lot. Um, but filling in the planes is more important at the moment. So um, let's just, I don't know, just take this one here. And that would be the tail. Okay, let me pull two more dice. That's black and purple. Well, we already have the left wing, but we don't have the right wing yet. So let's take the black one here. I know black is not the greatest color, but um, it's not easy to find six different colored dice. <laughs> I need to be honest there. Okay, three and five. We don't have the cabin yet, but we already have black. We don't want that. Um, we don't have the engines here yet, but we do have red. So let's start with the plane down there and let's take the three, I guess, for the cabin like this and then the last two dice three and four um we black the cabin doesn't work the right wing we have colored there but we need the right wing there still so let's take this one here okay and i will work on passengers and destinations later i will try to get as many planes finished as possible because we can only score planes when they're actually finished and that was our first turn, the first turn of five. All right, let's continue. One and three, well, that would work for both. So let's take the blue one and continue our plane up here for now. Okay. Uh, a red one would work up here and we already have pink for both planes. So let's take the red one up here. 
cool. Okay. Two more dice. A blue four. Right wing, we already have that. We already need the engines here, which is five, and the cavern, which is three. And here we need the left wing grade. Yeah. We could take the gray here for the left wing. That works. Like this. And then we will pull two more dice. Um, so we still need the engines up here and we don't have gray yet, but a purple cabin would also work, but let's take the purple cabin for now. So up here, we still need gray and up down here, we still need purple and purple and blue. Okay. The purple five. Five would be the engines. Well, we don't have that yet. So let's do that. Great. So the planes are getting more and more colorful, as you can see. And that was the end of that round. Wonderful. So let's start, begin round three and hope to maybe finish our planes. Well, we still need passengers, right? And the destinations. Four and two. So um, we need the engines, that's a five. And here we need the tail, that's a six. So we can't finish either of these planes. So why don't we start? Can we do a new plane? It's gonna be tough, but I think we can finish another plane, right? Would that be better or should we rather work on passengers and destinations? No, I think let's try to finish the next plane. So let's just take, um, we need, don't need purple anywhere here. We do need gray, so let's, oops, that was wrong. Let's take the gray one here and finish in, what is four? The right wing. Okay. Three and two, which we both don't need for these planes. Um, so let's take here the black uh, left wing. Okay, one and four. Uh, four is the right wing, which we already have, but one, the cockpit. We could use that one. Great, and two more dice. Five and one. All right, so now we can't fill any planes in here anymore because the five would be um, pink, we already have that. So let's start filling in some passengers, maybe. Maybe here, destination with one. So let's take the the red one here and fill in the destination here. One, that is three points at the end of the game. Um, so that's not too bad. Okay, and the last two dice. Six and three, a red six, we don't need here. Um, then let's do something down here. The six, the tail is fine. Great. That was round three or five. And we continue with round four or five. So we're soon to be done. Three and five, okay. We, that doesn't help us for these two planes. How about here? The cabin blue, that's fine. Let's do that, oops. oops. The blue cabin, let's do that. That's pretty funny. We almost finished that plane quicker than these two. <laughs> All right, so let's get two more dice. Two and four. Two would be left wing. We already have all left wings and four is the right wing. These are all done too. So let's see. Um, four and seven is six. So we can't get preferred destinations. So let's just fill in passengers. How about we fill in four passengers and we still need purple for this plane here. So that's fine. So let's fill in four passengers here. Great. All right, let's hope for some good dice. Five and six would be tails and engines. Um, yeah, well, but the colors are wrong. No, actually here, we need blue, right? Yeah, that's the tail. That's the blue tail. Ah, uh, but then we don't get any points here. 
Hmm. Still, I think I'm still gonna do it because that's not too bad. Okay, so this plane is done and we need to clear it now for takeoff. So we didn't don't have any passengers and no destination, but at least the plane is colorful, right? Okay, I don't think that was a very good choice. Three and four would be cabin and right wing, which is all done already. So let's fill in some more passengers. Why don't we take the three here and fill in three more passengers up here in that plane. So this plane is completely done except for the engines. Okay, engines is a five. We would have a five here, but these are both wrong colors. But here is a five too. Oh, and we need purple. We still need purple in that plane. But then that plane is already done too. Oh, I think, hmm, is that too risky? You know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take one of the fives and I will put in some passengers. Okay. So now round, next round and we need fives. Two ones. Uh, well, I will just take one of the ones, um, blue or purple. Let's take the purple one and fill in another passenger here. Okay, fine. Three and three. Hmm. Let's take three and three and fill in a six down here. Destination. That's then only the secondary destination, but it's better than nothing. And we don't need any of these colors, so it doesn't matter which one we put back. We have a five here, and that's a gray five. And we don't have gray up here yet. That's great. So we can actually finish this plane with all different colors. So we need to mark this one for takeoff, but we got full points on that plane. And we need another five still. Okay, uh, these are the wrong colors, but I don't care. We need a five. So um, let's take red. doesn't really matter because we have both colors anyway. So here, red. And then we mark that plane for takeoff also. So we're pretty much done. We did okay, except for this plane here. But you see, we only have one draw left. So it was very close. Okay, so let's see. We get plus two points for each passenger here. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, first we finished our turn. Well, we didn't really finish our turn, but okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is 14 points here. Then we get one point for each unique color. Well, we have six unique colors, so that's six points. For matching colors, we get points deducted, but we don't have matching colors. Um, and also we get our three points for the destination here. So we have 14, 20, 23 points. That is really good. That's perfect score, pretty much. Then here, we don't have any passengers. Unique colors, we have one, two, three, four. Wait, oh, these are all unique colors too. Great. So that is six. We don't have any matching colors, but we also don't have a destination. So we only get six points. That is pretty bad. And then here, let's see, plus two for each passenger. That is two, four, six, that's 12 points. Then plus one for each unique color. We have five unique colors and we have two matching colors, the two reds here. So that's minus two. Um, and we have one point here. So that's 12, 10, 15, that's 16 points. So there's no space to put that, but I'll just put it here on the side. So together we have nine, 15, 35, 45 points. That is our final score. And if I um, look at the, so this is all still prototype by the way, right? So this is a prototype game sheet and prototype rules I got. But in the prototype rules, it says the player should try to score 35 or more points, which we did. So you see here, um, we have 45 points, which is the right stuff here. So that's pretty okay. If we had 55 points, which we could have gotten if we had we gotten a few passengers here, then we could have had the highest score here. But I think 45 is pretty good. Um, that's the second best rank here. So that's pretty okay. 
All right. So, and that was my playthrough of Rainbow Airlines. So now I covered two games of the Planes, Trains and Augur Roll and Ride Revolution collection on Kickstarter. And that should give you an idea whether you um, should back it or not. Um, if you're still watching, thank you very much for doing so. I highly appreciate that. Um, if this is the first of my videos you see, why don't you drop over by my channel and say hi. It'd be great to see you there. Um, I have a lot of other board gaming videos and a few role playing ones, but not too many. Um, but it'd be great to see you there. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right. Take care, everyone. And cheers.